Hey there everybody, back outside with the Daisy Red Rider again today and we're going to do a little bit more impact type stuff. From about 15 feet today we've got a moldy orange and uh, well a bag of junk oranges. They, they taste like terrible. So the dog is complaining because he's trapped in the house because he likes to shoot things or he likes to chase things that I'm shooting. Discovered that back with the paintball gun. Didn't go well so he's inside and uh, let's get started. I'm going to zoom in on the orange and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, enjoy the show. So I'm about 15 feet away from this orange. That's a pretty decent zoom. It'll be clips of impact from here. That little Tetley tea canister makes a pretty decent holding point though. All right, here we go. Well, it certainly seems to have fared well with our rotten orange. Let's try it with a fresh one. Here's a look at the back half of that particular orange before I switch them out. And here we have a nice fresh orange. Let's see how it does. Still 15 feet away. So we can see as we turn that around that there were uh, a few impacts, they definitely went all the way through the orange. So that's not so bad from 15 feet. I really wasn't expecting it to go through both sides of a fresh orange. So I guess I'm going to have to give it a little bit more credit than I was, but uh, I'm still not sure about hunting squirrels with this sucker, guys. Startling them? Sure. Hunting them? Get a breaker action. All right, well, if you stuck around to this point, thank you so much for uh, joining me as we do an impact test, Daisy Red Rider versus a moldy orange and a fresh orange at 15 feet. Have a fantastic day. Play safe. Shoot straight.